Hey guys, Big Bo um, here at Arby's at Big Bo. What I'm doing on this video is something a little different. This is actually a reshoot. I'm going to keep most of the video the same. I did this video a couple weeks ago and did the test drive and there was something wrong uh, with the tires on the back of it. I had uh, a couple of tires put on it. I thought I was going to have to replace all six of the tires, but come to find out only had four new tires already on it and two of the original OEM tires with 72,000 miles on them that were missing tread and were causing the noise in the rear end. So what I'm gonna do guys, if you've already seen this video, you may wanna fast forward to the last few minutes of it. I'm gonna do a new test drive segment and um, to not, I mean, unless you just wanna watch the whole video again, you're certainly welcome to. Nice little motor home. This is a 2019 Gulfstream Conquest. Uh, 6220 under 25 feet under fifty thousand dollars with a slide out for under fifty thousand dollars this is one that will sell um i think will sell better now that we can actually see how it drives so hang tight let me get one of my salespeople to ride with me and uh we'll see you in just a second Good afternoon, folks. Big Bo with RVs with Big Bo at Parkway RV Center. And guess what, guys? Got another awesome value in a small Class C motorhome we're going to review today. And this is a really good buy. That's not a misprint on the price, but there's a reason for that price. I'll go over here in a minute. This is a 2019 Gulfstream Conquest 6220. This is their smallest Class C they made in a Conquest in 2019 with a slide. It's only 24 feet, 11 inches long. And the reason why it's only 49.9, which is an incredible deal for them. I mean, this is a 2019 for the price of a 2014 or 2013 anywhere else is because it does have some it does have some some miles on it, guys. Not enough miles that it's going to hurt but it does have 73,000 miles. So let me go ahead and get that out of the way. I mean, that's why it's priced so low. I mean, NADA book on this thing, even when, when you add or, or deduct for the mileage in this case, with no other options, is over 60 grand. Let me flash that up real quick and get that out of the way. So you see guys, this thing's way under book even with the miles and this thing's in beautiful condition uh story i got and and this is i actually this was a new rv trade-in the people that bought that traded it in traded on a new one at, at a dealer down in florida which is one of the dealers we buy their trade-ins and they don't mess with the use they only sell new apparently they bought it for some kind of local rental place little independent rental place they put about 10, 15,000 miles on it after they bought it. They just decided it was their first RV. They wanted something bigger. So they traded on a new, uh, on a new, our new Class C that was bigger than this one. But uh, I mean, I've got the generator running. Everything runs great. Um, we're going to drive it later in the video so you can see for yourself. The mileage doesn't hurt the, the drivability of it. I mean, these are this has got the 6.8 V10. Those are 200,000 mile plus motors, guys. It's got 73,000 miles and it's a smaller motor home too. So it's safe to say you, you'll probably get over 200,000 miles. You keep it serviced and, and maintained properly. And um, a lot of life left to it, guys. I mean, I bought my personal motor home with 87,000 miles on it. Miles doesn't scare me because I know these modern motors are good for it. And you can see it's a HD Max, got the good looking colors on it. I love blue on a motor home, guys. It just really stands out and pops. 4KW on and generator running right now, powering everything inside. Dash airs ice cold, no check engine lights. Tons of power for a little motor home. You can see it's got a small rear corner slide out no delamination one thing though uh, my driver did say it felt like it had a bad tire in the back so um we will drive it but i may have to run it down to the tire store get that tire looked at may have to replace the rear tires front tires look great i don't think they need to be replaced but i may have to replace the rear tires i don't know yet till i actually have a professional look at it but we will drive it later in the video so it may have a little bump in the rear but we'll take care of it no matter what it is 
and still sell it for 49.9 does have a power awning that looks great got the led light strip in it um nice little motor home very basic for those of you this may be like the previous owners may this may be your first rv you want something pretty basic to get your feet wet nothing real complicated well here you go stripes and finish look great cab over looks great got outside speakers um got the uh upgrade more ride suspension it's got the asdale panels like most modern rvs uh you don't have to worry about delamination as much like you did with the older rvs because of the asdale what the asdale is it's a, it's a synthetic wood product and you've got these fiberglass panels and instead of having a wood backer board what happens is with the wood backer boards on the older rvs if they ever leak that water if it penetrates that wood backer board of course that wood rots and those fiberglass panels are glued to those wood panels that's what keeps them down and keeps them smooth and all that what happens is well if that fiberglass doesn't have anything to glue to it starts popping up and creates bubbles in the fiberglass and um now those panels those asdales keeps this from delaminating because it's a synthetic it doesn't use a wood backer boards you can literally take a piece of asdale soak it in a bowl of water for for years at a time take that out and none of the moisture will retain in those asdale panels it won't swell up it won't rot or anything like that so even if you do have a water leak which is something all rvs inevitably do um it's not going to damage the wood there's no wood backer board to damage not only that but this is a gulf stream so you do have more steel in the construction especially in the floor uh, that's one thing gulf streams known for is they've got a really strong uh, floor system and um pretty neat guys especially for under 50 grand for a 19 model class c this one's not going to be around long even with the miles and hey one thing you can say about buying one with 73,000 miles i know a lot of people are worried about buying something that's been sitting for years at a time between uses you don't have to worry about it with this one <laughs> i mean that's one thing you definitely don't have to worry about all right guys um let's look in the front cab first now first of all there's no smoker pad odors in this rv got a touch screen stereo 73,372.6 miles no check engine light dash air is ice cold of course got tilt cruise uh built on the e350 chassis does have the torque shift transmission does have the 6.8 triton v10 305 horsepower 420 pound feet of torque tons of power for this little motor home and that's actually good because you know the good thing about having a big motor in a small motor home is that motor home that motor is not struggling to pull this thing up a mountain or a hill so not only do you get more power more torque but a lot longer motor life too because that motor is not straining its guts out all the time uh heated power mirrors and one thing i'll point out guys if you need an emergency start it's kind of hidden but it's right here what that is is if your motor battery is ever dead let's just say for some reason the motor battery went dead and you parked overnight somewhere and you put your key in the switch and you just hear it clicking what you do is of course it might be you might have to do a little twisting and turning but you press and hold this button right here down and what this does this ties your house batteries to your motor instead of your motor instead of your motor battery and it will crank your motor off the house battery so you press and hold it crank your motor and uh it cranks up then you let go of the button and your alternator will start charging your motor your dead motor battery and it gets you out of a jam so that's a and that's kind of a weird place to put it but that's Gulfstream. uh front seats even though they got 73,000 miles look great this thing does not have flaking furniture um is it perfect no i mean it's a used 2019 model i mean it's not going to be perfect but it's going to save you 30 40 50 thousand dollars i mean it's half price of a new one by the time you add all the fees and upsells the new dealer's going to charge you and um i'll go over more of that here in a minute but it does have seventy-three thousand miles guys so 
if you can't wrap your head around that then there's no sense in you even look at this video you might as well go ahead and spend you know 20 grand more and buy and buy one just like it used with with half the miles and and this will do everything that one will do and for 20 grand more or this one will save you 20 grand um got a lot of life left to it guys i mean you've got another 140 150 000 miles left on this coach if you take if you take care of it keep it maintained repaired all that good stuff i do like the way they did the cab over guys you do have a large tv on a swivel mount uh this is a full-size bed and what they did they put a little bit smaller bed up here and put those cabinets for extra storage and of course you've got your fold over i'll try to show this to you one-handed uh you've got your let me just scoot this to the side you've got your oh i apologize guys i'm trying to do this one-handed and, and hold the camera with the other but you put your insert piece right here and this is a full-size bed and um and then you've got your ladder which can sit up here I may not exactly have that set up right, but climb up there and you've got a double bed for two people. You've also got a table booth that makes a bed. There's your books and manuals. You can see the furniture looks good. You've got a little signs of wear and tear like you would on any 73,000 mile motor home regardless of the year. Um, you got a little bit right here. That's probably where people from coming in and out of the cab over put your hand here to kind of pull, pull themselves up. Um, got blue LED accent lights. That's nice. And I'm just trying to show you anything I see negative because it is a used RV. But like I said, you're looking at half price of new. Got a 13,500 BTU non-ducted air, which is all you need for this floor plan. Uh, blowing ice cold right now. Generator's got a of course you know you got expected to have a few hours on it 985 hours runs good fires right up to put down like it's supposed to i mean those those 4kw gen onan generators again just like the motor you, you've got probably a you keep it maintained you probably got a three to four thousand hour generator there three burner stove top and oven and guys i want to also tell you we have not done anything to this motor home this is how my drivers brought it in. We haven't cleaned it. We haven't washed the outside. This is exactly how we picked it up. In fact, they even left a, a biscuit pan in there for you. Uh, Greystone microwave, clean. Because the dealer we got it from, the new dealer, all they did was stick it in their storage lot until we went and picked it up. They didn't clean it up or try to sell it or have it on the market or anything overhead storage got nice tall roof it does have a couple of these little led lights that are not working or very weak you can get those for like 15 20 dollars on amazon you may have to pick up two or three of those this one is a touch light it's got the little metal band around it you touch that metal band and it turns that light off and on led lights all work uh freezer is getting cold of course we even though we're selling this thing for the lowest price of any 2019 220 conquest on the internet you can get an rv trader and, and look at that we're still going to include our major systems inspection guys at 49.9 we're going to check and guarantee at time of sale the slide out to work the generator to run and put out like it's supposed to we're going to guarantee the roof air to work we're going to guarantee the drivability even if we got to put new tires on it um we're going to guarantee the uh, refrigerator and freezer to operate correctly. You probably replace that light too. It's getting dim. We also guarantee the um, uh, plumbing systems, which include all the faucets and spigots and toilets. Uh, includes the water heater, water pump, and um, you know, and, and of course your inlet and all that good stuff. We check that, make sure it works. If we find a problem with any of that, we fix it and uh we guarantee the uh, of course it didn't have a step it's just got that low uh, low step floor so you don't have to worry about folding a step in and out so we include all that guys we leave the mickey mouse stuff to you like those two or three i think there's three lights in here you'll have to replace no big deal guys you can replace all three of them in less than 30 minutes 
probably 50, 60 bucks on Amazon or Walmart.com, or if you want to spend twice as much go to a, for a part, then go to an RV dealer that's got a part store, but you can buy the stuff online for a fraction of the cost. Uh, your rear slide, rear corner slide has got a queen bed in it. Now guys, like any, any of these with this particular slide out system, you, you cannot use this bed when the slide out is in, and I will show you what it looks like here in a minute with the slide out is in before we test drive it. Uh, you do have a rear corner bathroom and, and not a huge bathroom, but this is a small motor home guys. And I am 300 plus pounds too, six foot four, but I can get in here pretty easily. Little tight squeeze through the door, but you've got a stand up shower, skylight. You can see around the skylight looks good. Medicine cabinet, sink, plug-ins, all that good stuff. A little bit of storage right here by the bed and over the bed. Got some more blue LED accent lights and a couple of blue lights, um, reading lights, which don't look like much now, but they look, they put out a lot more light at night for reading and things like that. This is your closet. So, pretty fair amount of storage considering the small size of the motorhome overall. You know, this can sleep up to six people, but it's more or less a couple's motorhome. But I do like the storage amount in it. It's, it's, it's more storage than average for this size motorhome, especially with... Um, these, in fact, let me see if I can get back here to them. maybe uh, it goes back about eight nine inches so i mean it's not a huge amount of storage but hey every little bit helps and of course you can swivel your tv on out too i'm just running it on ta uh, antenna but you can swivel it out and see it from the table and all that good stuff Not a bad RV, guys. It really isn't. Um, not for the price. And uh, $49.9, of course, is a haggle-free firm price. It does have a furnace, too. Six-gallon gas electric water heater. It does have the EPDM roof. Um, pretty good bit of outside storage. And um, like I said, it's not brand new, but it's a heck of a deal for what it is. You're not going to find a night. You're not going to find a 19 model. Uh, under 25 foot C-Class with a slide anywhere else for any less, period. And, um, you know, you look on RV Trader, guys, these things are, there's one dealer, and I want to point this out, guys. I'm not going to mention the dealer's name or show you the ad, but get on RV Trader and uh, look up uh, 2023 Gulfstream 6220D, which is what this is. There's a brand new one listed on there for $83,347 from a dealer in Ohio, Lakeview, Ohio. I want to tell you the kind of BS that this is what new dealers do now. 83347 which for one of these brand new, even though it's $33,000 higher, sounds like a great deal. But you can't walk in there with $83,000, $347 in cash or a cashier's check and buy that unit, guys, because they're not going to sell it to you for that. You've got fees, you've got upsells. They're going to add another ten, fifteen thousand dollars in fees and upsells, extended warranties. But here, guys, I'm, I'm going to read you the ad, um, and I'm going to, I'm not going to mention their name or anything. Then, but you can read it yourself if you want to get an RV Trader. 2023 Gulfstream Conquest 6220D, and this is all in caps. Customer must finance through the name of the dealership and qualify through a participating bank. In other words, guys, cash customers, not welcome. If you've got your own money or you want to go through your bank, that statement right there, if I was a consumer, tells me I'm not welcome there. That's wrong, guys. And of course, and, here, and here's the kicker, at the very end of the ad, the very last sentence, this, this unit is currently on order. 
which is RV jargon, RV advertising jargon for not in stock. So, A, you can't buy it for cash for that price. And B, you, couldn't, you can't go in there and buy it if you want to because it's not there. But they're advertising it. That's wrong, guys. Um, I have a big problem with that because, A, it shouldn't matter how you pay for something. You know, here at Parkway RV Center, we've been in business since 1968. We don't care if you go to your own bank and get financing. We don't care if you bring cash. We don't, we don't particularly like all $100 bills, but we will take it if that's what you bring. It's dangerous to carry that kind of money. But, but we're not going to turn it down if you bring it. I mean, it goes right into our bank, and we have to do the 8,300 IRS form. That's more paperwork for us and all that. Uh, we do everything strictly by the law. I mean, the days of dealers keeping safes full of cash and hidden locations have been gone for 30 years. Everything's on computer now, so everything's networked. I mean, uh, you pay cash, guys. We have to do certain forms with the IRS to let them know that you paid over $10,000 in $100 bills. That's why we prefer cashier's checks or wire transfers. It's less paperwork involved. And uh, But now, if you do insist on bringing cash, we're not going to turn it down either. We can't legally turn it down. But um, the fact that they put that in all their ads tells me that they're making a ton of money on financing, guys, and to, the, to the point that they only want to sell their RVs to finance customers because here's what they're doing, guys. They're taking that $83,000 motor home, making you finance through one of their lenders. They're making, they're marking that interest rate up on what they're getting people approved for, up one or two percent. Guys, they're making an extra eight, nine thousand dollars, overcharging you eight or nine thousand dollars on finance that you're paying out of your pocket over the life of an RV loan. Then they're adding extended warranties, gap insurance. Uh, tire and wheel packages, uh, roadside assistance, Xylon exterior and interior treatments and all this other crap that's not worth the papers written on. Just pretty much RV snake oil is what I call it. Like it's gonna protect your RV from anything, it doesn't. Oh, it gives you a warranty, they say. Yeah, it's a warranty that if it fails, like if your RV starts fading after putting their stuff on it, all it does is they're going to warranty it that they'll put more of that crap on it that didn't protect it in the first place. That's what the warranty says. <laughs> the word warranty can be very, very, very much abused. And all people, and all most consumers here is warranty. They don't look at what that warranty actually covers. Same way with extended warranties. People go buy a $8,000 extended warranty that costs a dealer $1,500. They, they charge the customer $8,000. They pocket the difference. They add it to the loan with an interest rate that's marked up 2%. They're picking up an additional several hundred dollars in interest on that extra upsell that you're overpaying for. So it's safe to say to buy that unit for $83,000, it'll be 120 grand, 110 to 120 grand you'll owe on that motor home by the time you pull out with it. Just to buy it for 83, you'll owe 110 to 120 on it. I guarantee it. That's how they make your money. And the bad thing is, when you need those services, they're not going to pay. Those extended warranties, guys, are not worth a flip. The only warranty that's worth a flip is a factory warranty. And that's included for the sales price of every new RV. No dealer charges you extra for a factory warranty. That's included, guys. If they try to charge you extra, you need to call the manufacturer and tell that manufacturer, hey, this dealership is trying to charge me extra for the included factory warranty. They'll 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 get on that dealer really quick. Um, and that's just the kind of stuff you put up with with new RV sales, guys. I don't know why anybody with an IQ of over 80 will buy a new RV. I mean, it's just not, uh, uh, it's just not, uh, it's just throwing money away. And I know this unit's got 73,000 miles, but it's half price what you're going to spend on a new one by the time they get done with you. And you don't have to put up with all that bull. Here, it's 49.9. I don't care if you finance through one of our lenders. We make no money on financing. We do not mark the interest rate up. 
uh here guys you can bring cash you can we take trade-ins you can bring money from your own bank if you want to finance through your bank through our bank it doesn't matter we keep things easy simple and done you know we're an old school dealership we own everything we sell we don't floor plan anything we don't have mortgages we don't finance anything we buy units we pay cash it allows us to buy these things at a lower price and because we don't spend millions of dollars a year in advertising we don't spend millions of dollars a year uh, marketing that allows us to pass those savings along to you and you you know you go to ripoff world for example and you know they they have stadiums named after them and they have college football games and nascar races named after them that means everybody that buys an rv from has got to pay a couple of thousand extra on the price to cover that advertising because all that cost gets passed along to the consumer that's unfortunate enough to buy an rv from them that's how that works the cost just gets passed along to the customer if a dealership floor plans the entire inventory they pay something like this they'll pay three or four thousand dollars in floor plan interest because they don't have the cash to, to to pay Gulfstream for that new inventory so they do what they call floor planning that's a short-term finance plan that a dealership does from the uh, and the manufacturer sends the paperwork to a bank and the dealership finance it on 30-day terms so every 30 days they have to pay interest a uh, high rate of interest until they pay until they sell that unit so they might have to pay every 30 days until they sell a new unit they might have to pay two or three thousand dollars in interest and they pass that along to the customer in the form of higher prices to cover that overhead cost of paying that interest we pay cash for everything guys it allows us to get better deals and and we we pass that along to our buyers we price our stuff by what we pay for it not for what it's worth you saw the nada i could price this thing for 59.9 just as easy as 49.9 and, and probably sell it just as fast but that's not how we that's not how we operate guys we price it by what we have in it not what it's worth but that's why we've been in business for since 1968 that's why we sell five to six hundred used rvs a year easy simple and done 49.9 plus sales tax applicable sales tax and if you're a georgia resident georgia residents only there is a 50 to 100 dollar highway impact fee and a 40 to 50 dollar tag and title fee involved that's it no dock fees no prep fees no processing fees happy camper fees destination fees delivery there's no freight fees none of that nonsense if you want this unit delivered guys it's two dollars a loaded mile one way or if it's easier for you to figure it's a dollar a mile round trip if you want it delivered that's it take it to the bank and that's a haggle free firm price i don't care how you pay for it i don't care if you finance if you pay cash you go through our bank your bank again gold silver will trade for anything of value um now guys uh, by the way uh we had a guy try to trade us a boat this morning if you've got a boat or a motorcycle you're wanting to trade for an rv please keep in mind this time of year if you trade a boat or a motorcycle it's too late in the year i mean we will take it on trade but it's going to be at a greatly reduced value because chances are it's going to have to be put up in spring um you know those are very seasonal items after the fourth of july uh, when kids start going back to school those boats and pleasure boats and stuff like that they really drop in value because people don't go out and they, that, that stuff they buy in the spring not at the end of summer and early fall or winter time and the people that do buy boats in the spring uh, late summer early fall and the winter time are looking for bargains so you have to, we have to price them accordingly so if you've got a boat to trade you got to be willing to take a pretty good chunk off the what you think it's worth because unless you want to sit on it till the spring so just fair warning i had a guy try to trade a boat this morning he didn't under he thought it was worth full retail book even though the unit that he was looking at was priced twenty thousand dollars under nada base retail and i even showed it on the video i did that was 20 grand but he thought his was still worth full retail and it was a boat in early august so uh, we didn't make a deal, let's just say that. <laughs>
but hey you know what people don't always think things through sometimes because you know when you trade something in you know we have to resell it but um and you know and here's the thing guys especially on something odd like that we're not a boat dealer so we have to sell it for a lowest price in the country just like we sell our rv and that's really true of any trade-in if you've got a trade and we're selling something for the lowest price in the country then if we get a trade-in we have to trade for it and be able to sell it just the same lowest price in the country so you have to you have to weigh out everything so it's a give or take thing but anyway guys i appreciate y'all watching and what i'm going to do is i'm going to bring this pause the video for a minute let's bring this room in in the meantime smash me a thumbs up comment share on social media hit that subscribe button guys best way to support my channel hit that subscribe button hit that bell notification button you know i'm different than anybody else on youtube i actually kind of tell you the truth <laughs> of, of rvs uh i don't sugarcoat anything i save you money uh, I, you know, if, if you do buy an RV, I, of course, I'm always going to prefer you buy from us. But if you don't buy from us, guys, try, try, support us mom and pop dealers. Stay away from these big chain dealerships. I mean, I mean, I know I can't tell you what to do, but maybe I gave you some information so you can see exactly how they operate, like that ad I just told you about. Guys, these things are, uh, you know, we're a dying breed. These corporate dealers are stuffing us out like crazy. Um, even though our prices are so much lower, but people, the general public is under the assumption that the bigger the dealer, the lower price, but it's actually the exact opposite. The bigger the dealer, the bigger the overhead, the higher the price. And they may not, they don't realize that that asking price online comes with a lot of conditions. It's like that one, like this one brand new for 83,000 and change. You don't realize that that out the door price is going to be an additional 20 grand on top of that. Trust me, you don't go in there and buy them anywhere close for the advertised price. That's how they do it. Because they add everything else on top of it. So um, so please support us mom and pop dealers, guys. Um, you know, because there may be a day that we not, may not be around us mom and pop dealers. I hate to say that, but these big dealers, guys, they're uh, they're they're determined to be the to be the only only ones in this game so um anyway thank y'all for watching i really appreciate it hang tight and let me bring this room in and i'll be back in just a second well that was a pretty simple one to do guys um as far as a slide out procedure on this one uh turn your motor off parking brake on and of course like always with slide outs uh you want to go outside and make sure that all your outside compartment bays are shut and latched um, if you are parked underneath a tree anything like that you want to make sure there's no you know leaves or sticks or any kind of debris on top of your slide out because they can damage your seal uh, before you bring it in come inside um, you got a slide out switch right above the door right here Bring it's electric slide out of course like most of the modern ones you bring it you press and hold the end button until it comes all the way in as with all slide outs bring them all the way in or all the way out there's no in between because if you do not the slide out seal cannot connect to the wall and uh, can't keep the water out if the seal can't connect but you can see guys the mattress does fold into half so you, I guess a small kid could use that for like a day bed but you cannot use this full queen size bed uh, going down the road or um, without putting your room out, which just takes a few seconds, by the way. But you've got full access to everything, but you accept this closet right here, and you've got full access to your bathroom uh, and the rest of the RV with the slide out in driving down the road. So let me get one of my salespeople yesterday. I had to use one of the girls from the office, but uh, maybe one of them's freed up. We can go for a quick test drive take it down the road see what this thing does like i said my driver said something about a bump from a bad tire in the back so i'll see if we feel that um and if i do i'll get it uh, down to the tire store get it checked out so um hang tight and we'll be right back okay. all right everybody now we're going to test drive um this 2019 conquest take two <laughs> and uh what i'm gonna do i'm gonna leave the original video on youtube this is just gonna be a re-release so i'm gonna take the the original driving footage out replace it with this 
got my good buddy Joe who's going to be our cameraman. And guys, if you're interested in this 2019 Little Gulfstream Class C, give Joe a call or a text. Uh, Joe, what's your number? 423-702-1310. He'll answer any questions you have about it and uh, and hopefully can uh, help you out with it. But we're going to take it down the road. And like I said, guys, hopefully everything is good to go. And the way this worked out, I thought it needed all new tires, but I only needed two of them. Apparently the previous owner replaced four of the six tires. And I don't know if they were all the dealer had in stock or what, but they left two of the original tires and they had 73,000 miles on them. And they had broken belts and missing tread. And that's what caused the roar. So we've got basically now six new tires on it. And I can tell already, oh yeah, <laughs> night and day difference. And of course, we got the red light. <laughs> Always hit this red light. Never fails. And you know, we're in this little 24 foot, 11 inch motor home with a, with a big V10. This thing ought to have plenty of power. Same size motor home mine is. And, um, you know, I know this mileage may seem like a lot, but you got to look at what you're getting for the price. I mean, the, these things are 200,000 mile motors, and this being on a smaller motor home, I mean, it'll last quite a bit longer than that, especially if you take care of it. No check engine lights. Dash air is good. Generator is good. You heard all that earlier in the video. Um, so, yeah, I, I mean, I wouldn't hesitate to drive this thing anywhere. This is the same size my personal motor home is and it's got 87,000 miles on it with the same chassis and motor so we'll uh, hopefully take her up the road here take it up the interstate try the cruise control out make sure we're good there got kind of a rainy shower earlier and looks like we're about to have some more rain Hey, at least we get to be first here at the red light. <laughs>
not fighting nothing. It's not pulling to the left or the right. I'm not. I'm driving it easily with one hand. Great visibility out the mirrors. Of course, you got your cab over. So you never got to worry about using your sun visors. Which is a nice, uh, which is always a nice feature people don't think about with a Class C. Not a lot of wind noise for a Class C either. Get the brakes, try them out. While they had the tires off, I went ahead and had to check the brakes. Everything looked good. Everything was was over 75%. No problem there. I don't feel any rotor vibrations on the wheel. I don't know. Got a lot of cars here, but get around in there. Not bad. Been nice and smooth. Transmission shifts good, brakes feel good. Um, don't take my word for it. Come out and try it out for yourself. Uh, call before coming to look. Give Joe a call or a text. Make sure it's available. Joe, what's your number, buddy? It's 423-702-1310. And make sure you hit that subscribe button. Smash us a thumbs up. Hit that, uh, leave a comment. And uh, thanks again for watching and riding along with us. And look forward to seeing you here in beautiful Ringo, Georgia.